Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this really lovely log cabin granny triangle shawl. Now this is a very simple pattern once you get going. You do need to focus a little bit for these initial setup rows but then once you're underway it is simply a four row repeat back and forth and this shawl grows very very quickly indeed. You can use any yarn, any amount of colours, any hook size for this and you will get a fantastically unique looking granny shawl out the other end. All the information for my particular shawl here on the table will be available on my website along with the written pattern very soon. So keep your eyes peeled and I'll update that information as and when it's ready. To begin, pop a slip knot onto your hook. Then chain five. Join with a slip stitch to that very first chain you made to form a ring. Chain four, which counts as a double crochet and chain one. Then work three double crochets into this little central ring. So that's one, two and three. Chain three and turn. These first eight rounds, these setup rounds work up nice and quickly. Now into this chain four space at the end, we're going to work three double crochet just right into this space. So one, two, three, then chain one and place one more double crochet into that chain four space from the row below. Chain four, two, three. Four, which again counts as a double crochet and chain one and turn your work. Trust the process for these first eight rounds. It looks a bit odd but I promise it all comes together in the end. <laughs> Into this chain one space from the row below we're going to work three double crochet stitches. So this very first space you have here, three double crochets into that space. So one, two and three. Then into the next chain space, your chain three space from the row below, we're going to work three double crochets in there as well. So just work straight into that space, three double crochet. So one, two, And three. For row four we're going to change colour at the end of this row so make sure you have your new colour ready to grab. We're going to chain three and turn. Now into that space in between your sets of three double crochets right in here we're going to work three double crochet. So just pop them straight in there so one two, three, and then into this end space here, this chain four space, we're going to work three double crochet, so just straight in there, three double crochet, so again that's one, two, oops, spit my yarn, and three, chain one and we're going to work a double crochet back into that same space but we're also going to change colour in this stitch. Now we change colour every four rows. So begin your double crochet as normal 
working into that space, yarn over, pull up, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops and then stop. Now drop the colour you're currently working with, bring in your new colour, drape that over the hook, leaving a nice tail to weave in afterwards and pull that through to complete the stitch. Then you can cut your white yarn And we're going to work the next four rows using this separate coloured yarn. Chain four and turn. So you'll see we're, we're building a sort of wonky triangle here. This bottom edge where we do the chain fours, that is the bottom outside edge of your shawl. Working into this space in between your last two stitches, work three double crochet stitches. Just pop them right in there. So one, two, three. And in between your sets of three double crochet, work three double crochet. So right into this gap here, we're going to work three more double crochet stitches. And then into this end chain three space, work three double crochet stitches. Just all into that space. For row six, chain three and turn. Work three double crochet in between your sets of three double crochet stitches. So in there and in there, three double crochet. So we're just forming granny clusters in between your sets of granny clusters from below. A granny cluster is simply three double crochet stitches together. Once you reach this end chain four space, in there we're going to work three double crochet, just right into the space in between your chain four and your stitches from the row below. So work three double crochet, chain one and work one more double crochet into that end chain four space. So as we work along this bottom edge, we'll always start with a chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And we'll always end with a chain one and a double crochet. On this side, this is the inside of your shawl where you have your chain three spaces. They're just chain threes and will always be chain threes. But along this outside edge, this is the bottom of your shawl. Chain four, again, that counts as your double crochet and chain one. Turn and work three double crochet in between those last two stitches of the row below. Then we're going to work three double crochet in between your sets of three double crochet from the row below. Once you reach this end space, this chain three space over here, we're going to end with just three double crochets into that chain three space. Chain one, 
chain three and turn. Again, work three double crochets in between your sets of three double crochet from the row below. So we're just working in sets of three double crochet each time. Then you're over to this chain four space and we're going to work three double crochet just into that space. Then to end, we're going to chain one and work a double crochet into this end chain four space. Then cut your yarn. Chain one, pull that through, pull it tight. And those are your first eight setup rows complete. Now you're going to turn your work, flip it over so that the last row that you did is on your right hand side and your chain ring is on your left hand side now those first eight setup rows are out of the way we're going to begin the four row repeat now we're going to start in a slightly different place and that is purely so that from this point on all your color changes will be in the middle of your shawl rather than on the outside edge like these first ones so we just have to start this one slightly differently before we begin the four row repeat. So we're going to join our new color yarn into this chain three space from row eight. So this is where you finished off this color. We're going to go into the chain three space and we're going to join our new yarn. Now for my personal shawl, I then joined with black, but obviously that is not a great color to be able to see on film. So I'm going to use a light gray. And this light gray is slightly thicker than the other two colors, but that's fine. This is just a small sample piece. So attach your yarn however you like to attach your yarn. I personally like to join with a slip knot. And then chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. Now into this chain three space work two more double crochet stitches. That's one and that's two. Now working down the side we're working back towards our chain five circle that we started with. So in every space Working down the side, we're going to work three double crochet stitches. So you'll have some rows which have three double crochet and there's no space to work into. And you'll have some rows which have got a very obvious space. Those are the rows we're going to be working into. So you skip any row that has three stitches in it and work into the obvious gaps. And into those gaps, we're going to work three double crochet. And again, there's an obvious gap here on the white and we're just going to work straight in there with three double crochet. Again, into the next gap, three double crochet. And 
And then we will be at your chain five ring where we very, very first started. And into that chain five ring, we're going to work three double crochet. chain one and double crochet. So now we're going to make this more triangular. And as we are along the outside edge of the shawl, the sort of bottom straight edge, to start row 10, chain four, which of course counts as a double crochet and a chain one, turn your work, Remove any of your own personal hair that you have crocheted in <laughs> and work three double crochet into that very first space in between the last two stitches of the row into the chain one space work three double crochet. And then just as you have been doing work three double crochet in between your sets of three double crochet from the row below just working back up. Now to end this row, you're going to work a double crochet into the top of the very first stitch you made. Now for me, that's my chain three, or if you did a standing double crochet stitch into the top of that very first stitch that you made. One double crochet. For row 11, chain three and turn. Now into this very first space here in between your last two stitches, work two double crochet stitches. One, two. Then work three double crochet in between your sets of three from the row below. Once you reach this chain four outer edge into that chain four space, you're going to work three double crochet. Chain one and double crochet back into that same place. For row 12, chain four, turn and work three double crochet into that very first chain one space. And then work three double crochet in between your sets of three double crochet from the row below. Keep going until you have run out of spaces in between the groups of three.
to end this row, row 12, we're going to end with a double crochet into the top of the chain three from the row below. We're also going to change color on this stitch and we're going to rotate our work. So several things to do. <laughs> so let's do one at a time and we'll end with that double crochet into the top of the chain three and change color on that stitch. So I'm going to go back to white. I'm going to draw that over, pull that through to complete the stitch. I can then cut the gray. And now we're ready to repeat those last four gray rounds all over again. Now the main difference is here. We're going to start doing the log cabin rotation. So at the moment we're working in this direction. We now want to come back down on this side. So we're going to be going up, down, up, down, back and forth. So we want to rotate our work. Chain three. and work two double crochet into this end chain one space and around your gray stitch. So just working straight into that gap, work two double crochet. So that's one. And that's two. Now working down this side, just as we have been doing, you're going to work three double crochet into every obvious gap down the row. So it will be into this space here around that end stitch, or it will be in between your groups of three. So we're just going to work three double crochet all the way down. The gaps are pretty obvious. You won't be really able to miss them as to where you're putting your next set of three stitches. Once you reach this end chain one space, in here we're going to work a three double crochet. Chain one and another double crochet into that end space. So you can see we're working back down this side now. Then we're going to chain four, turn, work three double crochet stitches into that chain one space immediately right there, can't miss it. And work three double crochet in between your sets of three double crochet all the way back up the line. So we're repeating row 10 again. Once you have run out of spaces to work into, we're going to end this row with a double crochet into the top 
of that chain three from the row below. Chain three and turn. Work two double crochet into this end space right here, right below where you're working. So just two double crochet in there. And then as before, three double crochet into every space in between your sets of three, all the way back up again. We're just repeating row 11. Once you reach this end chain four space, we're going to end with three double crochet, chain one, and one more double crochet all into that same chain four space. So that's my three double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So you can see it's starting to take shape now. It's looking more triangular. And for that final repeat row, chain four, turn, work three double crochet into that chain one space, three double crochet into each space in between your sets of three double crochet from the row below. And then to end this fourth row of the pattern repeat, we're going to end with a double crochet into the top of the chain three from the row below and change color. Then rotate your work. and repeat the exact same thing again. These white rows, which are a recap of the gray rows. Chain three. Two double crochet into this end space and working around that last stitch you just made. and repeat those last four rows back and forth. Now, once your shawl is the size that you want it to be, you've been repeating these last four rows back and forth, back and forth. Your shawl is the final size that you want it to be. To end your very last stitch, you won't be changing color. You're simply going to finish that double crochet as normal. Chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a long length to weave in. Pull that out and pull it tight and then you will just 
have your ends to weave in, but your shawl will be complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you go on to make these gorgeous log cabin granny shawls for yourself. And until next time, happy crocheting.